Hi guys, this is my review of the Jelly Bean Sweet ROM for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So as you can see, this is the Sweet ROM version 2.5 and this is the Android 4.1.2. That's the Jelly Bean. So guys, to install this ROM, hit link 1 for the installation method and link 2 will lead you to the ROM thread so you can download the ROM from there. So coming to the review, some new features have been added to this ROM from the Galaxy Note 2. So for example, like the Pace Buddy and Smart Rotation. So we'll have a look at it within a minute. So right from the lock screen, you get this ripple lock. And with this ROM, you don't get any shortcuts on your lock screen and neither you can place it that you generally see with the Galaxy L. The shortcuts that you generally see on the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2. Also, you do get some pre-installed apps like the Jelly Bean Camera. You can select all these apps and you can also select some additional apps in the ROM installer while flashing this ROM. So, the ROM, uh, you get this Jelly Bean Camera and it works fine. You can touch to focus. Okay. So, it's here. so I want to focus this area. Okay, it's focused. I want to focus this area. Okay, it's focused. So it works fine. You also get this awesome beats. Works perfect. No issues. You get the pop-up browser. It's a floating browser. You can easily multitask while using this browser. You also get ad-free, Chrome, CPU Spy, Mini Diary, My Story. Sorry. The Nova Launcher, uh, the Root Explorer, SD Booster, Twitter, and etc. Now, what I would like to say to you is all the apps that you get with the ROM works fine. I have tested it. No force closes, no lags. I got one crash uh, while using the Chrome, I mean the Google Chrome. So if you get a crash, you know, you can simply uninstall it and you can just reinstall it from the Play Store. Uh, that will fix the problem. Uh, even with the Nova launcher, you know, the launcher is working fine. No issues. It's really smooth. No lags or anything like that. It's working fine. So guys, the ROM is really, really fast, really smooth, really stable. Everything, like all the functions, works perfect. The Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, GPS, even the S Pen features, works fine. Just to show you. Okay, you have it. And just to... You can take the screenshots as well, it's working. And even snipping any area, it works. Okay, there you have it. So the two new features uh, that have been ported from the Note 2 that I was talking at the beginning of the video were this, uh, the Pace Buddy. So how this works is, as soon as you plug in your earphones, and now you go back, the phone will automatically take you to a screen where you'll have your music player and that's really good. This is from the Note 2 and also at the bottom you'll see recommended apps. So that's good. And another new thing that I've been ported from the Note 2 is the smart rotation. You already had the smart stay with the previous Jelly Bean update, but with this update you do get the smart rotation as well. So you can just enable it and just see how it works. Uh, for the first time if you tick the smart rotation, a message will pop up, you know, that will teach you how to use it. And it's working fine. Even the multi-window works perfect guys. And with this ROM, you know, on the multi-window tray you get a lot of apps pre-installed on your multi-window tray. So you can access any of the two apps simultaneously. If you also works fine, just to show you. Okay, you can see it there. Even the S voice works perfect. There you have it. And with this ROM, you don't get the S voice. You have the default voice command app that you get with the Galaxy Note. That's the voice talk. You also get this uh, different battery icon and the stock Jelly Bean notification bar. Overall, this ROM is the best Jelly Bean ROM so far for the Galaxy Note 1 in terms of stability, performance and battery life. Even the battery life is really really good. I've been continuously playing some games and listening to some music. So 
you'll get around 10 hours for heavy users like few hours of music, Wi-Fi connected continuously, videos, uh, some calls, texts, and a full day with moderate users. So guys, what I would like to tell you is, uh, I definitely suggest you to flash this ROM. This is the best Jellybean ROM so far. And everything works fine. You do get some new features and a lot of more apps have been added to the multi-window tray. You have the smart rotation as well. So that's all about my review guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. I'll be coming up with more videos. Thanks a lot. Bye bye now and have a great day.